I wanted to be a nurse because when my son was a child, he developed asthma and I didn't know how to take care of an asthmatic child. So I was a frequent flyer at the local children's hospital every time he had an asthma flare up. And I told myself that I felt like I could not be his mother if I did not know how to treat his asthma symptoms. So I enrolled myself into a local community college and I took a first responders course. And once I completed the first responders course, I was like, I love this. Like I should see what the medical field has to offer. And like that was kind of like the ground and the foundation that set it off for the medical field. So I spent a lot of years in the hospital. I worked on oncology, I worked on cardiac step down, I worked on the ortho unit. All of that was great until I got into the ER and the ER was like a mind blowing experience. Being an ER nurse is tough, but it is something that I wholeheartedly can say I love to do. I get into the ER and I'm able to be that advocate for the patient in a capacity that can save their lives. Everything that I went through to get to this point, it was not in vain because I'm able to stand before a patient and advocate for them in a way that they deserve to receive the care that they need. Hondros prepared me to be able to critically think to be able to save a patient's life. On my first week in orientation, a patient was assigned to me and he became suddenly short of breath. Critically thinking, I immediately got to listen to his lung sounds. He had absent lung breath sounds on the left side. I immediately got a doctor. We immediately did a chest x-ray and this patient had a large pneumothorax and they had to immediately place a chest tube. This was missed in triage when he first came in. So when he was assigned to me, I made sure that I listened to his lung sounds. That is what Hondros taught me. You go off of what the patient's chief complaint is. He came in for shortness of breath, so I need to hear the air moving in the lungs. And when I did not, I immediately alerted the provider so that way we can do interventions to see what was going on. I came and did both programs, the LPN and the RN. And I would tell anybody, go for it, because the flexibility that the school allowed me to have, I was able to work full time and still complete both my programs. It's all about you. My future goals is to be able to teach the next round of future nurses and let them know that there are people who care about their future. I had my first son when I was 16, and a lot of people did not think I would make it um, with even finishing high school. So my son is 13 years old now, and he can see that throughout all the adversity that I was up against and all the stress and everything that I went through, that I can give him the life that I always wanted to give him and his siblings. This shows him that no matter what, you never stop reaching for your goals. No matter what obstacles stand in your way, I never stop, and I never will stop. And I always want my kids to know and anybody else to know that it doesn't matter how you start, it's how you finish.